Hey guys, this is Chris. Today I wanted to just do this quick video. I'm going to try to make it quick. Uh, what I wanted to do is show you guys the solution that I found for my uh, problem that I put up, or not problem. What I wanted to be able to do is, uh, I love my studio. I have tons of guitar stuff. I play guitar primarily. Um, and I also primarily play the electronic drums. And I connect all of it to the computer and I have a lot of virtual instruments. And the one thing I'm not really comfortable playing is the keyboard. So what I wanted to be able to do is to use my iPad to control VSTs in my computer. Now the iPad definitely has amazing sounds and amazing keyboard sounds, but I really love the XLN Audio Addictive Keys. Uh, I, I play the Addictive Drums too with the Roland kit, but I can actually play drums. I can't really play keyboard that well. So uh, somebody suggested this awesome app called MIDI Mux. Uh, and what it's doing is the, the MIDI that's coming from programs on the iPad is then going routing into the, the I, or sorry the MacBook Pro and it's con controlling the, um, for, well for in, in this case the XLN audio uh, addictive keys. So I'm just going to show you real quick. Um, the, the one thing if you look this is uh, Addictive Keys and one of the coolest sounds that I think there is. Um, I can't play this. So that's one of the stock presets on Addictive Keys and if I go through it you can hear some different ones. So this is just the Mark I uh, stage piano, and then um, let's go back out. And I here's the Electric Grand I just got recently, and so the really cool sounds here. And then here's. cool sounds that you can get out of it and I don't have the skills to be able to play those things so what I've done was with this um, MIDI muck like I said now I'm not gonna get into how all this is set up I'll do more videos on that later um, but for instance I have my ARP Pro now typically let me make sure it's turned down now um, Typically, this would just create its own sounds, but I have it the MIDI out going into the MacBook Pro, and it's actually controlling the sounds here. So let's go back to I don't know. Let's pick. Uh, let's just do a stage piano, just a straight up Studio Grand. So this is like a preview of it. So it sounds great. Now it's going to be all arpeggios coming from here. Hmm. Oh, I forgot. I have to set it back um, in my personas. I have to actually select. I put. I just made it called ARP. So sorry if you look. I have my instrument there, ARP. So now let's try again. So you're actually hearing addictive keys, but it's being controlled from my iPad. Okay, sounds amazing and I can't play that. So I'm really, really excited about this. Um, I just wanted to make this video because I know you guys wanted to see how it works. Um, and like I said, I'll make more videos to actually explain how it's all hooked up and everything. But I also love Thumb Jam. So let me switch it back on here. Let's change it to from ARP and let's do Thumb Jam. So Thumb Jam is set up as an, basically a, a MIDI instrument. So here we go. Now 
that's really awesome with the regular keyboard sound. But then we can go to these crazy sounds like, let's see, uh, this is a, a sample. Just so that's the sound. Now let's play it with the thumb jam. Might be really loud on video, and I'm not sure, but. Let's switch it up. Let's try ARP, ARP 1. That's the sample in Addictive Keys. Let's play it in here. So guys, that's just a, a real quick taste. Um, like I said, this perfectly solves my problem. What I wanted to be able to do is control my Max uh, virtual instruments with my iPad and uh, thanks for the suggestion uh, let me do a quick shout out because I do want to uh, give him credit for it because this is like totally how to fix my problem Sonny Hancock so th this there he is where's he at come on so, so thank you Sonny for the uh, the suggestion. This is awesome and it perfectly solved my problem. All right, see you guys.